For this next part, we're on page 11, and it says examples of Punnett squares. So let's go ahead and do this one together. So it says green is dominant, yellow is recessive. So a homozygous dominant green pea plant is being crossed with a heterozygous green pea plant. What are their possible offspring? So we're lucky they already told us their allele, so we don't have to figure that out. So our first parent is big G, big G, and we're gonna put that across the top of our Punnett square. And our second pea plant is heterozygous, so big G, little g. And now all we have to do is make sure we fill it out. So this big G is gonna go right below, big G is gonna go right below, big G is gonna go to the side, and our little g is gonna go to the side. So we know genotype is what is its genetics. So the genetic possibilities that we could have are big G, big G, or big G, little g. And remember, this isn't, they're not having four babies, it's just how likely it is to happen, the probability of it. So if we're looking at this genotype right here, how many big G, big Gs are there? There's one, two, so that's two out of four, or one half, which is 50%. Now, how many big G, little g's are there? One, two, so two out of four, which is the same thing as one half, which is 50%. Now, let's look at phenotype. Phenotype is what are they going to look like? And I'm just writing look like just to give me, help me remember. So they could either be green or yellow. So I'm gonna write green or yellow. Now let's see what they could be. Remember, green is dominant and yellow is recessive. So big G, big G, the yellow, or I'm sorry, the green is gonna show through because it's dominant. Same thing with this one. Big G is gonna show through, so that's green and the same thing there. So for this, four out of four, or 100%, are going to be green, or zero out of four, zero percent are going to end up being yellow. And so genotype are the genetics, phenotype are what are they going to physically look like. So let's look at this next one. So again, we're using green is dominant, yellow is recessive. So heterozygous, so big G, little g, is being crossed with a heterozygous, big G, little g. What are their possible offspring? So we're going to set up that Punnett square like we did before. So first parent across the top of the square and our second parent across the side of the square. And we're just gonna fill in our Punnett square. So this one's gonna go here. And then we gotta fill it in going across to the side. So remember, genotype is the genetics. So what genetic combinations could we have? Well, we could have big G, big G, big G, little g, or little g, little g. So if I'm looking at it here, the possibility out of four, there's one out of four or 25% that are big G, big G. Now, how many big G, little g's are there? One, two. So two out of four, which is one half, 50%. How many little g, little g's? There's one out of four, which is 25%. Now let's see what they could possibly look like. So it's the same one as before. So this is look like. Where, remember, uh, green is dominant and yellow is recessive. So they can either be green or they could be yellow. So in this case, Big G, big G is gonna be green because it's dominant. Same thing with that. Same thing with big G, little g is gonna be green and our recessive, little g, little g is going to be yellow. So how many are gonna be green? We got one, two, three. So three out of four, which is 75% are going to be green. How many are gonna be yellow? Well, we only have one. So one out of four, 25% are going to be yellow.